What's up everyone, Takedown here. As you guys know, I'm a Canadian eBay reseller. And right now I'm gonna be trying to release a new video every two weeks. That's my goal right now. I've been making some pretty good profit on eBay and I love sharing these experiences with you guys and sharing a whole bunch of different stuff. So whether it's stuff where I'm sharing my recent sales or my experiences with eBay, hopefully a new video every two weeks. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my most recent eBay sales once again, which isn't much because there's been a two week period where I didn't have a single sale and a few sales have just been starting up, but not a lot of profit, but I think I'm still gonna mention that. Along with an item that I purchased two months ago, I finally am almost at the point of listing it and I'll explain why shortly, along with my first loss on eBay. Let's get right into this. So let's start off with the item that I purchased two months ago that I'm finally at the point of almost being able to list it, and that is the Xbox 360 E console that I purchased a while back that I purchased for $25. Now, I didn't even check it over, I just gave her the $25, grabbed the bag, and headed home. Once I got home, I realized there were some issues with it. The first one, the main one, is it reeks of cigarette smoke and I obviously was not going to list it because I didn't want to return and it took over two months for the cigarette smoke to leave the console. It was crazy, I tried everything, but finally the cigarette smoke is gone and the console is clean. Now I tested it, everything works great. Out of all of the games that I ended up getting with it, only three were salvageable because some of them, the cigarette smoke was all over the label and everything and there's no way I was gonna get that off. Plus, some of the games themselves didn't even work. So I saved three games out of the lot that I bought. The only other issue I had with this console was the controller. One of the analog sticks seemed to be broken a little bit. And at the back, the battery pack also was broken. I ended up finding on eBay, there's another Canadian eBay reseller that sells these replacement parts. And it only cost me $5 each free shipping. So total spent right now with replacement parts and the 25 I already spent was a total of $35 invested in this console. Once I get these replacement parts, the only thing left I have to do is open up the controller, replace both analog sticks. I'm assuming the other one's either a little worn or dirty, so I'm just gonna replace both so they look new and also replace the battery pack and then test everything once again, make sure everything works and then list it on eBay and possibly Facebook Marketplace as well. Now back whenever I talked about this, whenever I first purchased it, I believe I stated that I think it was going to sell for around $200. Realistically, I think it's gonna sell between 100 and 150, possibly somewhere in the middle or near the low ends, but still on a $35 investment, if it does sell for even $100, that is still some pretty decent profit now. If I sell it on Facebook Marketplace, I don't have to deal with claiming it on taxes, I don't have to deal with fees or shipping, so that's a better alternative. But if it does sell on eBay, I still will accept it because it still is some great profit. So once I have it fully repaired and make sure it works, and once I have it listed, I'll update you guys in the future once it does sell, and I'll break down the profit that I earned on this item. So now for some of my recent eBay sales, there's only been three because there was a two week period where I didn't sell a single thing. So let's just get started here with the three recent eBay sales. The first one is two Star Wars games for the PlayStation 3. Now the buyer did message me at first, saying he did not want to pay what I was charging for shipping because he thought it was too high. Now originally I was gonna be shipping these both together inside a box with tracking, which does cost a little bit more. I basically just messaged him back and said, I do have a cheaper alternative, but it's gonna be without tracking. Shipping them individually, two separate packages inside a poly bubble mailer. And that would be $3.19 each, which he accepted that. So I ended up selling them and for total profit after fees and shipping was $15 on both of these video games. Now for these games, it doesn't sound like a lot of profit, but I'm just glad to get them gone because they've been sitting here for quite a long time. The next game is actually one that has been sitting a lot longer back whenever I did start reselling things a lot more. I think possibly even back in 2020 is whenever I purchased this video game lot and it was included. I think it's one of the final games that I have left from that lot, but it's an Xbox game that is a dual racing game, two separate games on it. I think one is a regular GT game, 
Uh, and then the other one is a futuristic racing game. I know absolutely nothing about these games. I just seen that they were hopefully going to sell, but it took a long time to do so. Now after fees and shipping, this game here I walked away with $12 profit, which was a lot more than I expected to make on this game because it sat forever. I was actually going to be sending out a lot more offers lately, but somebody finally bought it for full ask and price. So $12 profit on this item, I'll take it. Next is one of the cheap packs of mystery hockey cards that I sell on eBay. Uh, these ones here, normally I don't sell them too often, especially when somebody buys just one. It's not a lot of profit for me. This one here, they only purchased one. It was $1.50 that I ended up getting in my pocket. Now, because I'm not saying profit, the reason for that is because most of these cards are ones that came from my personal collection that I acquired over the years. So I don't know really roughly what I spent on them, but it's $1.50 in my pocket. Usually these hockey cards, I honestly just give them away whenever some of my more expensive mystery packs or my individual cards sell, I'll just include them in the package as well, just as a thank you. But whenever somebody buys just one, it's only $1.50, but if somebody buys 10, that's a little bit more profits. That is a lot doable and a lot better in my opinion. But lately people have just been buying one at a time, which honestly isn't even worth my time. And I actually have one more. I actually forgot about this one. And that is another PlayStation 3 game called 007, another James Bond game. And this one here after fees and shipping was $20 profit, which was amazing for this game. I have a couple more that I have to list that hopefully will be around the same amount of profit. Profits. But in my opinion, this James Bond game was perfect addition because the past two weeks have been slow sales. $20 profit on one game is definitely really, really amazing in my opinion. But now I guess it's finally time to talk about my first loss on eBay. If you guys remember a while back, I did buy a lot of Beanie Boo plush and I thought they were going to be very profitable. I purchased the whole lot for $45 and I thought I was gonna get more sales and make a lot more profit on these items. That unfortunately hasn't happened. They sat for a long time. I listed them on eBay, no sales. Finally, one sold. Most of them are six inch plush. The one that sold was a nine inch plush. It did end up fitting. The cheapest alternative was putting it inside a poly bag, so it fit in one that I had. Now, the buyer paid $8 for the plush, plus $10 to have it shipped. It cost me $20 plus tax to have this item shipped because of just the size of it alone and that's within Canada. I ended up paying it even though it was a loss. I ended up wanting to just give the person the plush anyways. Now after fees, that's a loss of about $5. Now even though that's not a lot, a loss is a loss. Right immediately as soon as I got home, I took all the plush down off of eBay. There's no point of me even thinking about selling them on eBay because it costs just too much to have them shipped. Now I ended up listing them on Facebook Marketplace, but for the past few days, I've had no bites on them. I listed the small ones for about $5 each and the bigger ones for about $7 each, but still no bites. I see a lot of lots on there right now between $20 to $40 for about the same amounts that I have. So if they don't sell within about the next six weeks, I think I'm just gonna donate them. That is going to be a loss of $45 plus I already lost $5. So that's a loss of $50. But still, I have no time or patience to keep them in a death pile. I might as well just take the loss, move forward, and buy other things that I know are gonna be profitable. So this, in my opinion, is more of a learning experience. I decided to get out of my comfort zone and purchased something that I thought might be profitable that I knew nothing about, turned out to not be. So now I know plushies for me is just not something that I'm gonna be looking for in the future. I'm gonna stick with what I know, video games and different things like that. The sold comps on some of these plushies looked amazing, but they're just not selling like I thought they would. I might just end up donating them and taking the loss. So I think that just about does it for today's video. The only other thing that I want to mention is some of my inventory. I'm gonna start listing it on Facebook Marketplace. Some of it, not all of it. Some of it I know will do better on eBay and I'll make more profit that way even after fees and shipping. But some of it I think I'll be able to sell for more profits locally on Facebook Marketplace. One of the PlayStation 3 consoles, the 120 gigabyte one that I had listed on eBay for a really long time, I listed it on Facebook Marketplace and it sold within two days for $115, which is about $30 to $40 profit for that lot, which was amazing. It sold quick 
and it sold for what I was asking for it. Now, for some of my more expensive consoles, my bigger gigabyte capacity, or some of my newer modeled PlayStation 3s, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna sell or list them on eBay, because they might do better on Now some of my other consoles that have more gigabytes or a new Now some of my other consoles that have more gigabytes or are a newer model, I might not list them on Facebook Marketplace cuz even after fees and shipping they might do better on eBay, but I might list them and see what happens on Facebook as well. If you guys remember a while back at Shoppers Drug Mart, I ended up purchasing a bunch of video games that they had on clearance for $5 each. I ended up listing them a while back after I bought them on eBay and they sat there forever. I ended up listing them on Facebook Marketplace all together saying $10 each game. Somebody bought them all, all six games for $50. So right now, right there, I'm at $25 for all... And if you guys remember a while back, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and bought a bunch of video games that were sealed brand new for $5 each on clearance. I listed them at the time on eBay and none of them sold. I think one actually might have sold a Batman game, but all of the other ones just sat there for a really long time. I ended up listing the final six ones that I had on eBay. I also ended up listing on e I also ended up listing on Facebook Marketplace the sealed brand new PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 games that I purchased from Shoppers Drug Mart for $5 each on clearance and I sold them for great profit as well. I'll talk about those in future videos, but I am making a little bit more sales and a lot more profit on Facebook because eBay has been really slow lately, so who knows, I'll continue doing both but I might have to change things up and only list certain items on certain platforms moving forward. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know we were all over the board talking about a lot of different things that have been happening recently and different sales and things that have been happening with me, with my eBay, but hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm gonna leave this video here. Please take care, peace.